something that's very easy to observe um, in the relationship between a parents when they've just become parents is that because the mother is often needing more help either practically or just emotionally with the baby um, and if she's not getting it either because there isn't enough time or her partner is just not there um, she feels very unsupported. Her way of feeling or responding to being unsupported is usually to be critical. She becomes critical of him, he then starts to be less satisfied in his relationship with her and then he disengages from her and from the baby and then she gets even greater feelings of being unsupported. It's a very, very common cycle. It can be changed and you can change it in a number of different ways. First of all, um, if, if you're feeling unsupported, try to make sure that the person supporting you understands what you do think is being supported. Now, it may be doing something practical, or it may be someone who just says to you, you're doing a grand job, love, don't worry, it'll all be all right, you know, think two months' time, might be sleeping through the night. It could be that what you've got to do is to think about how you raise your issues with your partner. So instead of saying, the trouble with you is you never do this, and saying, you know, love, if you could just do that before I get in from taking the baby out, it would just make the evening run a lot better. So it's the way you deliver the message. It's also how, as a couple, you manage conflict. I mean, one of you is bound to be snappy. I mean, new parents, they have got very little time, very little sleep. They're often not having sex to sort of smooth things over. So it's no wonder that they're particularly prone to snapping. But if you snap back, it will just become a ricochet thing. It's back and forth and back and forth. And within about 20 minutes, you begin to hate each other. So when you find yourself caught in that thing where you know that you've just reacted and your partner's done it back, one of you, presumably the one who's less tired and less threatened, could just stop and just take a bit of a deep breath. Time out, maybe. Not quite the naughty step, because that's meant to be for the babies, isn't it? Well, not for the babies, for the children. But do something to just distract yourself from getting into this backwards and forwards bit. And when you are caught up in something where you're, you're disagreeing, also try to think if there's a way that you could backtrack from it. This is what they call making a repair attempt, where you try, you can realise that you've taken it too far, can you just do something? Maybe it's a case of saying, let's just leave it, let's go and have a cup of tea. Or, you know, let's go and watch the telly, the baby's asleep for a bit, or something. Just do something to stop the thing getting worse.